All right then. That's the scene I wanted to read. That was something I completed just a few days ago. And there's a little bit of interesting history behind that scene. Because I actually started thinking up that scene three years ago. Back around this time, going into August of 2011. In fact, it was more along the time of August 2011 when I started putting it together. And I can remember actually talking with someone about the scene, telling him how I wanted to put it together, how I envisioned it, how I imagined it. And I was actually developing a scene for the same characters, but for a completely different environment, a completely different medium. But there's only a few differences in the construction of the scene from how I originally thought it up to what I wrote. Uh, for one, it was actually Professor Arrakis originally. It was She did the dedication. She offered it. At that time, when I was putting the scene together, as Guardia Coven was in charge of doing the Samhain celebration. And when I started doing it for the novel here, I figured Morrigan would be the ones who would actually do it. So Professor Sladen, the Morrigan coven leader, she does the dedication. Annie's costume was different. Um, it was actually more of an Indian sari, blue and nicely cut with jewels and a lot of embroidery. However, it was also a very bare midriff outfit and the more I started thinking about it it was like Annie is not going to walk around in a bare midriff. She's not a modest girl but she's not going to show off either. She's of the opinion that I'm not going to offer a view of myself to everyone. There's only one person who gets to see the goods. And I think we, I think we're starting to gleam who that one person might be. But everything else in that scene, the location, the venue, the dedication, and the song, they were all the same. They were all identical. This is, this is how my madness works. And some of you might think, hmm, Cassie, you're fibbing to us. No, I'm not, because I actually have proof. I blogged about it back in late August of 2011. I'm not going to tell you the exact title of the post, but if you look around, you'll find it. I think you'll recognize it by the, the title when you see it. But in that post, I actually describe how I was putting the whole scene together. All of it. And when I put this on uh, my blog post, because that's how I'm going to present all these readings, I'll actually include um, uh, a link to that old post. Maybe. I definitely will include a link to uh, Wuthering Heights, which, when I heard that song, I believe I was about 21 years old, and it just made an enormous impression on me. And I think it would have made an enormous impression upon Carrie as well. When he, he says later to Annie he wanted something that was full of grandeur, and that song really is. I think... I think it was a good choice. But there you see. I waited three years to put that scene together. I've been sitting on it that long. And I finally got the opportunity to write it. Carrie finally got to do his dedication. And he finally got her dance. You can bet, when she walked off that floor, she was a happy girl.
just as she should be. I'll give you another reading sometime later, I think. I might put a poll out there and ask people what they want to hear. Maybe. But I've enjoyed doing this and I hope you've enjoyed hearing it. And um, see you around.